Good evening, everyone. Fairly late for the stream, but that's fine. Uh, probably be a very short one. Probably just do one or two levels of Spectre of Torment. Uh, but, yeah. If, uh, whatever I don't get done tonight, I'll try and finish off tomorrow. Because I think I'm getting close to the end of the game. Uh, thankfully. So, let's just... Let's just end the music. That was uh, the Stranded Ship from uh, the Spectre's Torment soundtrack as well. Thought it would be okay to play it since I've already finished that level now, so... I think once I've uh, beaten the game, I'm probably going to buy the soundtrack immediately. Put it straight on my phone, actually, because I like listening to the Shovel Knight soundtrack when I'm going to and from work. Right, anyways. Let's load up the game. Oh, why is why is that completely off kilter? What the hell? Uh, edit scene. Where's Shovel Knight? There you are. That is way off center. Why has that happened? My TV broke. Uh, okay. Let me go up to the video settings. Uh, hang on. I wasn't meant to do that. I was wanting to go to the settings, make sure the resolutions. Yeah, nine. Yeah, so that's still at nineteen, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. I've applied it. What on earth is going on here? Right, let me load up the game and get to the map so I can actually get the full border. Because this is very strange. Alright, okay. Now I can get a good sort of judgement for the border. There. Just a tiny bit more, and I think I'm good. Oh, a tiny bit. Sorry about this. Oh, there we go. I got an achievement, and I don't even know what the achievement was for. Make it slightly smaller. Okay, that looks to be. Good enough, I think. And uh, let me know in the chat if there's any sort of uh, borders, but I can't really see anything. I'll load up a level and then. Uh... Right. It's kind of hard to tell because the background is obviously so dark. But I am really confused as to why the resolution is just. Well then, puppets. Right, where's a nice bright place? Let's quickly go to Pride Moor Keep first. Hey, Merg. Merg, can you do me a favour? Oh, no, actually... Okay, so... Uh, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a border. Right there. I think that's just about good enough. It's slightly too big at the top corner. No, we're good. It's alright, Meg. Yeah, basically when I loaded up the game, the resolution was completely off, and I have no idea why. Alright, uh, return to the tower. Okay. That's good. Oh, please don't tell me that means I'm going to have to fix all, all of the games. Um, on my OBS, so all of the resolutions. Right. Anyways, so we have four stages left. We've got the Lich Yard, uh, the Lost City, Iron Wheel, and the Flying Machine. Let's go. I think we just go to the Lich Yard and then do the last three in order. 
so let's do that. Hopefully my voice isn't too echoey, and hopefully my mic won't choke too much. And this is new, we're starting underground. Ooh. Okay, so... I can still make use of these things. Unlike with Plague Knight, who just destroys them straight away. Whoa, okay. That was a bit dicey. And I can make use of their uh, ghosty friends as well. Looks like there's a secret down here, maybe? No, there isn't. Thought there would be a secret there. Oh, nearly. Shit, I'm gonna have to lure these guys away if I'm gonna get that skull. The flying machine. Yeah, the flying machine's going to be not fun. Oh, come on. There we go. Too much momentum. I have to be really careful over gaps because. There's no way to stop the momentum when I dash into an enemy. I mean, if they survive the hit, I kind of bounce back off them. But if I kill them, or if it's something like that... Alright, what have we got? Let's use the, the sickle. Oh, come on. There we go. Looks like there's a secret there. Yes, there is. <laughs> Mind the gap. Oh, I might keep this one, actually. That's that's a really good um, curio that I found. Uh, okay. Jesus, he went far. He just killed himself! <laughs> that didn't work out so well for him, did it? This might be a little bit tricky because there seems like there could be a lot of secrets since the Lich Yard is actually more of a village now. Oh, back then, I guess. We've still got the core mechanic, though. Where is he? So I'm very curious to know what happened to this place after Spectre Knight himself basically took over. Christ. Okay, there's a skull right there. There we go. Uh, okay, that's new. We've got literal zombies who actually dive at me. Fair enough. Are we really going to start the puns already, Merg? I haven't had a chance to get warmed up yet, dude. Hmm. I'm going to have to get the timing of that right. And boom! Ooh, he has a lot of health. And we appear to have platforms appearing. Whoa. Okay, so invisible platforms, that's new. Oh, I get it. I see how it's going to play. 
you one of those moves today. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way past those. Okay, so these platforms have not always been there. Okay. I'm guessing I'm guessing that was put there on purpose for that exact reason to trick people into falling off like a moron. And what do you know? I'm a moron, so that worked out quite well. I might have been a secret over there actually that I've missed. How am I going to get these? Oh, there we go. I just got bamboozled, yeah. I don't want to jump on him. Can I make the gap? I suppose I could. I'll... Really? There was a platform and I just so happened to jump in the one tiny gap. Oh, that is... That's... <laughs> That's embarrassing. So I need to watch where they're walking. Is what I need to do. Slightly terrifying, if I'm honest. <sighs> I really want to get that, but that's not going to be easy to get. I might need to get the ghost closer to me, maybe? Oh no, there we go. Should be next to another checkpoint, I think. Uh. Okay, this is. Oh, there we go. So it's basically just a lap. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. There we go. I actually really like this uh, mechanic, like the invisible platforms. I missed a secret there. Uh, hmm. Can't quite reach that. Oh, I can just put out the flames. Duh. So actually the fact that my kind of the mini sickle actually just gets rid of them all in one swoop, that's really good. <sighs> the shit. I have to do that like that. There we go. I need to do a run of this where I don't use the healing, like, at all for the entire level. <laughs> so edgy I can even cut fire. Cool. 
go down here, I think. Maybe not. There we go. What does this do get? Oh, that's the damage reflection. Right, I can stand here. Where's that red skull I just saw over there? Quite work. Don't really quite know how to get that. Ah, there we go. Don't know if that was intentional, but that was really cool. I can actually use that fire to my advantage. Advantage and maybe like not just fly off the edge. I should have used an ability against him. Like this skulls. There we go, got rid of him. Get the solid ground. And we're now up against the... What's he called? The Phantom Striker. <clears throat> this is new. <clears throat> A surprise attack. Hardly befitting the honourable warrior I had hoped to meet. Ah, the Wraith yet speaks of honour, having surrendered his own to serve as an errand boy. I merely invite you to continue your trials at the behest of the Enchantress. Her power is unmatched. And she expects this empty, broken husk to intimidate me? Your power is untrue, but mine comes from within. He's actually got, um... Specknight's music. Did he just block it entirely? Okay. So he's got some of the same attacks and some new attacks. I need to be careful because he turns himself invulnerable. Can't really use that sort of damage back ability. It's kind of kicking my ass a bit. Not really 100% sure what, where I should go to kind of attack him. Oh, there we go. We've got a good bit of damage on him there. There we go. That was a good slash. <clears throat> you may match me in battle, but you and your cohorts are unfit to rule this land. Your days are numbered, wretch. I will roam free and see your kind vanquished to the last. Bye, friend. So I guess my prediction was wrong the whole time. And we got another memory. Let's break camp. We can reach the pinnacle by day's end. I can already sense its power over life and death. 
shall be ours soon. Okay. We got the liquid samurais as well. It'd be actually really cool if this was like a, a skin. Like an alternative skin for Spectre Knight. Boy. Uh, okay. Ha! <laughs> nice, killed them both. Phantom Striker holding the boneyard, yeah. No! Ah, he knocked me off. There's two checkpoints here. Okay, as as you do, Liquid Ninja. You can do that, that's fine. Right, can I... There we go. I can't quite reach that. There we go. He knocked you off and killed himself. The ungrateful little shit. No! Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll recover. Um I may have slightly cocked up there. There we go. I'm still questioning why I can't take his path. His path is so much easier. Yeah, he's literally standing on a platform which I can't get to. Looks like we'll be taking on the Enchantress. Ooh. <clears throat> is... Is that the amulet? It's ours, finally. Whoa! Stay where you are. That amulet has powers far beyond your control. I'm here to destroy it once and for all. But... I seek only to protect my son. My intentions are pure. Protect him? Then by fleeing this place and never looking back. Heh. <laughs> You want it for yourself. You can't fool me. I still don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Luan. Or Luan. Would you do the honours? Just a moment. If she's, if what she's saying is true, then... Might we be a bit more cautious? You would let some pompous knight tell us what we can't, can and can't take? Who is this busybody anyways? I'm Shield Knight, and I will not let you pass. We are fighting Shield Knight? I do not know how to beat it. She's just blocking all of my attacks. Whoa, okay. I'm not doing any damage to her whatsoever. This is a really unexpe un un unexpected turn of events. Out of all the people to fight, I did not expect to fight her. She's about to beat me. Oh, no. Jumped right into that. So I need to be a bit more careful with how I proceed. 
I'm presuming this is how she becomes the Enchantress. Right, I need... Right, I can only attack her from behind. Which is easier said than done, because she doesn't seem to be able to give me much of an opening. I can get a couple of good hits in there. What is that? What is that? Yeah, Shield Knight is a very dangerous boss. I don't really quite know how to proceed with this. It doesn't help that, like, my bags of money, like, right across the entire stage. I'm just gonna try and throw my cult chops everywhere I can. The thing is, if she runs into it head on, she's. Okay. It's my last Caltrop bomb. Oh, she threw it. So, yeah, it's some sort of projectile to help her. Oh, I'm so close! <laughs> A special bouncing orb of death she has. Typical knight equipment. Yeah, standard issue, dude. This is pretty difficult, I have to say. Ah, oh, I couldn't avoid that one. Right, so yeah, I need to do a much better job of avoiding her shield. No way I could avoid that one. When she throws a shield, that's when she's exposed. Got her down to two health again. Yeah, feel free to help any time, Luan. He's just looking off into the distance. He's just like, yeah, no, you've you've got this, dude. You got this, bro. So if Shield Knight's here, where's, she uh, where's Shovel Knight? Ooh, got a good hit on there. there. I can actually use that projectile to bounce. Oh, I can actually bounce it away from me. Got her. The tower crumbles around us. We must leave at once. I never knew you was a coward, Luan. We'll leave once we have our prize. Stay away! You meddle with forces you do not understand. Please, Donovan, I'm begging you, leave the amulet. It's not worth it. Never! Out of my way! Wow! I didn't even get to see what the dialogue was, it just... This is interesting. So even though the amulet was for Luan's son, Donovan clearly wanted that amulet at any cost, and he even basically just stabbed him in the back. Shield Knight got caught in the crossfire at some point as well. And that's probably ha something happened, maybe to do with the amulet, and that's how she became the Enchantress, I'm presuming. 
new curious. Ooh. Summon a skeleton sniper and detonate with Y. This seems like a lot of fun. Wow, okay. That's really cool. So you can actually summon skeletons to make uh, not infinite range, but very, very long range. No, that wasn't right. That doesn't quite hit him either. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. If I can't... Oh, wait, no, I get it. Duh. I need to put him there. And he just draw... No, he doesn't. What am I supposed to do, then? Because I can't get up here. Because he can't... He can't hit that dude. Hmm... Oh, wait, no, I've just figured it out. You have to, yeah, you have to detonate him to... Jesus, that was really dumb of me. Alright, what have you got for me that I could use? No, let's not buy that yet. Ooh, you're bouncing. I missed a wisp chest. Okay, so I can actually buy... If I miss it on a stage, I can just straight up buy it. Looks like I'm at max darkness. <laughs> We've got the giant skeleton dude with us. Super skeleton. Oh, okay, I'm not even gonna... He's, he's doing a papyrus voice. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not really the Phantom Striker. Did I fool you? If you were here, then who guards my hideout? Uh. Hmm. Is it another kiss of death? I have to do this again a second time just for... Also because of the dialogue. It didn't work. Okay, so the dialogue does automatically cut off. That's fine. And underneath we have someone from the village who's joining us. A dancer. So you dashing through the lich yard. You must be Spectonite. I'm so happy to finally meet ya. Keeping morale high around here is important, so to welcome you, let me share my greatest tre treasure. Dance. Yeah, I uh, yeah. I have. To, I should point out, it's not me who's moving Spectre now, he's just... Oh, he's dying now. <laughs> it makes me ill. This is no place for your foolish mirth. Be gone. It's like, how could you? You know I studied that dance just for you. Cold shoulder. You steeled your resolve and remained cool in the face of jubilance. Summon this ability at any time by holding... The... Oh, that's cool. So just like how Plague Knight can dance when he's on his own, I can do that to be like a true edgelord. That's awesome. Right, what do I want to upgrade? 
fires even more projectiles and has more health. I'm going to upgrade you. Right. Giant Lich, yeah, because the Phantom Striker never joined the team. Even though the Lich Shard is like your hideout. So the Super Skeleton essentially takes his place just for, I guess, comedic value. So let's do the Lost City and then call it a day. Wow, okay. We are outside. <laughs> the Reaper cometh. I did not actually expect there to be a secret. Whoa, okay. So I guess we're in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Wait, is that another secret there? No. I was not expecting this, if I'm honest. Like, we're not in the Lost City, we're in... some sort of forest with, like, caves. So I guess... If I had to take a guess, the slime that's in the Lost City, because obviously half it's slime, this must be where the slime originates from, from this like sort of mushroom cave, and I guess this kind of feeds all the way down into the Lost City where the lava is. And I suppose it makes sense that we're not in the, the city itself, because, you know, again, this is a prequel, so... It stands to reason that Mole Knight isn't there yet. Like, maybe joining the Order of No Quarter gives him, like, the resources or whatever to actually get down there. This is really interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> There's six checkpoints on the stage. The amount of checkpoints seems to vary wildly. Was there any actually clue to a secret there? There wasn't even a clue. I just like instinctively... house. Ah, uh, the falcon things. I'll let him get out of my way first. No, he hit me. Shit. Looks like I'm heading deeper though. Now that I think about it though, the way you start the Lost City is like where you start, there's like a giant coil of rope that leads to where you're standing. So maybe this is actually going to kind of, I guess, lead to that. Just for like a, like a really small touch, a nice touch but a small one. Yeah, there's the rope here, actually. And there we go. We are actually in the Lost City. Okay, that is cool. Oh, look, a mimic chest. I don't like hurting those mimic things. They're cute. This appears, yeah, this appears to be basically the same path at the minute. It's quite a treacherous path as well.
That's new. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? That was the wrong way. We got the beetle. I'm glad the, the beetle dude's back. No! Ah, he died in two hits. Basically, I forged the way for Shovel and Plague Knight. I wouldn't say so because the rope was already there. I think basically what's happened is, obviously... As time goes on, Mole Knight has went deeper and deeper into the Lost City. As it currently stands, he hasn't really gone that deep, which is why you kind of start outside. So maybe you kind of come across him like mid-exploration. Ow. Ow. Also, this beetle seems to be moving faster than it normally does. I get the feeling there's a secret to the left. That was a good combo. Right, that is new. Okay, so... We have slime lanterns, which bounce me away instead of propelling me in the same direction. There we go. That's a new mechanic I need to be very wary of. Right, let me do that and then just absolutely wreck him. jump was that? Dear me. Right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to get this, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's like... I've, I've lost that bag. Oh. How am I going to do this? Do I just constantly bounce off it? Yeah, I do. There we go. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm going back. I missed the jump. I fucked up. I'm not going to be able to get to that secret. That's fine. Yeah, that, that skeleton, especially now he's upgraded, that's, like, really powerful. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. No. Skull. Hey, thank you for the host, uh, Mel. How you doing, man? Yeah, much like the other levels, we are still following basically the same path. Okay. No, okay. Just. That was a bit dicey. And there is a secret up there. Can I get that? There we go. 
And there's the... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Right, okay, so I got there, but how am I going to get back? I mean, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that was how I was about to get there. Um... Do I have to kill myself? Is there anything I can use to propel myself? The only thing that I can use to suspend me in the air. Can I... I'd, I'd rather not die because I've, I've accumulated a lot of gold now. No, not quite. I didn't think I'd screw myself over, but on the plus side I got extra health, so... I'm gonna go and see if I can... There we go, got my gold back. Whew, that was interesting. Slime and I can push this across. Almost. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I just... I have to be careful of the, the wall jumps. Because it's... Um... Okay. I guess that was just me being an idiot, but never mind. There we go. Does this wear off after a while? Yes, it does. There we go. want to take this nice and easy. Okay, so I have to do that and then chase it. Like that. There we go. And we are back outside. That's interesting. Okay, so when you destroy the, the falcon head, he actually just turns into one of the shield dudes. Hey, copper. <laughs> Basically, but yeah. Uh, okay. I've actually been playing a lot of Reaper on Overwatch, just as like a completely random topic. Can I double hit him? Yeah, I can. I can actually do double damage with that. Oh Christ, how am I going to do this? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Throw him out and then... There we go. Oh, that might be a secret over there. I just realised. And it looks like we are at the boss. Hi, Slave Blade. Good choice in gaming. 
definitely. Very, very good choice. <clears throat> Break time is over. Are you in the right place? Ready to continue the dig? Very much so. In fact, I'm here with a business proposal. The Enchantress has need of excavators and wishes to employ the best. What? You? Well, you found the best. The best at digging. My claws are sharp. My technique is flawless. Excellent. Then you'll only need but... I'm absolutely not looking for new work, and break time is over. Okay. I guess he doesn't understand what I'm trying to do, but never mind. He's got pretty similar moves. Yeah, apart from the slime box, the blocks... Oh, there we go. That's a bit different. Oh god, he's going vertically now. Right, let me... throw out my sniper. Once he uh, finishes this... Boom. <laughs> the skeleton killed him! <laughs> he just headbutted the skeleton and it killed him. Dear me. Alright, so we got Mokirio. Chrono coin. Slows down everything around you. That seems like a fine, uh, fine item. Okay, so it lasts a few seconds. It lasts about as long as uh, Plague Knight's invincibility with the smoke bomb. Christ. <laughs> Not quite. I had to be careful with that timing. I'm going to trigger that Chrono Coin. There we go. I hope we don't come across hazards going like that, because that's kind of insane. <laughs> right, and there's more knight tapping his fingers. Oh, I just got money, and I can't pick it up. Never mind. Are they bringing my bread out? I asked for bread. Everything up here takes forever. Could you go ask about the bread? Sure. Can I talk to the falcon head? Birder. I didn't realize talking to these NPCs actually give me money. I wonder if I talk to these guys though. No. And let's upgrade. Let's upgrade this. Because that's really powerful. I wonder if it works on bosses. We'll go for that as well. So I don't get any interruptions when I use it. And I think that's all there is to do here. So yeah, I've got two more stages. I've got Treasure Knight sta uh, stage and Propeller Knight stage. So I think we should save them for tomorrow if I stream. If I don't stream tomorrow, then Tuesday would be the next time. Maybe Saturday, but we'll see. Exit to the title screen, and exit. There we go. 
But uh, yeah, nice short stream round off the evening. So uh, thank you for watching everyone. Uh, like I said, hopefully I'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, we'll try and maybe even finish Spectra Torment. Uh, if not, probably be next week. And once I'm done with that, I'll be returning to Hollow Knight. Uh, maybe I'll try and find another game to uh, play through as well. Yeah, sorry. Um, I mean, I started streaming an hour later than normal, and it's 10 o'clock now, which is when I normally finish, so I just wanted to have a, a quick stream. Sorry about that, man. I'll try and... If I get any opportunities, I'll try and stream maybe a bit later, every so often. Because uh, I know time zones suck, and I'm like several hours in the future to a lot of you guys. The future? Several hours ahead. Uh, you got an office job now, so you can jump in streams more. Ah, nice one, dude. I mean, don't, don't, like, start neglecting your work, dude. I don't want to get you in trouble. But, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.